Today we are continuing with part 2 of how you can make money online with AI art generators like Midjourney. I think this has become much easier now with the Midjourney V4. So today we are heading back to Upwork, finding some simple logo design jobs. And we're going to convert this into SVG and images. Uh, for that we are using Canva. So let's just get started. So the tools we need for this video is exactly as the last one. So that's going to be you need a Upwork account and you need a mid journey account, preferably a paid one. Uh, I just think that works out better. And we also need a Canva account. I think if you're going to convert to SVG, you might have to have the paid version. I can confirm that, but I think so. Uh, so same as last time we just head off to upwork try to find some easy jobs so i'm just gonna search for logo design and sort by newest at least that's my process so uh then i'm just gonna look around for uh see we have this youtube banner logo animation need a logo asap so I found this job, designer needed for new cosmetic product line. So I'm gonna try to, I think you can see this now. So uh, this is, uh, I think the, the, the startup company is Slate Cosmetics. We draw our inspiration from the rock, a black rock. It's considered metamorphic rock. So this is, I think the logo here should be like a rock. Uh, we want, uh, I thought they say they want the slates are gray in color. And so there are color options. Obviously black and gray in color palette due to the slate actually being black. So I think I have a good prompt for this. Uh, so let me just go get that and let's create some logos. Okay, so we are over on mid journey. Um, the first prompt I have is this one. So I'm just going to copy that. And that is going to be logo without text, a black rock, black, gray colored retro, 8K sharp focus. And I tried this no text. So let's see if that works. It's not too bad if we get any text because I can just edit it out. Uh, so that was the first prompt. Uh, the second one is this. Uh, let's copy that. So let me just paste that like this. So that is logo without text, a black rock, retro 90s, 8K sharp focus. So let's see what we can get out of these two. I'm just going to run a couple of these and uh, yeah, come back when we have some results. Okay, so we got some results back here. As you can see, uh, I just did a whole lot of these now. So I actually picked out two of my favorites. Uh, the first one's going to be this one. Uh, we have to do some editing here, of course. So I'm just going to save this. And the other one was this one. I kind of like. So... We're just going to save this now, head over to, to Canva and do some editing and convert them to SVG. So in Canva, I just type in logo, um, hit logo. Then we're just going to do a blank logo and let me, let me just upload these files. Okay, so this is the first one I wanted to try to edit. So let's just uh, do another one of these. Try to edit this away. So I'm just going to try to do it like this. See if that's going to work. It's probably not perfect, but it could be. I think that's okay. So let's do the text. So was it slate cosmetics? Kind of like the white here. Let's see, I just space here. 
something like this. Maybe do a duplicate. Maybe black. Let's zoom in a bit. So maybe something like this. That's not too bad. Huh? Just as an example. Okay, so see if this is our logo we want to submit. Uh, we can, I guess we can save one as uh, an image. And on Canva, you can convert to SVG. So you can click on download and pick SVG here. And download. So now the logos should be in like SVG. So we can, that's a vector. So you can really scale it in and out for different t-shirts and other stuff. So, okay. So we got the image. We got the SVG. Let's just uh, go to an SVG viewer to see if this works. Okay. So I uploaded the uh, SVG here now. Okay. So here we go. So... When I zoom in now, like uh, on the text, you see we can go right really close here. That's thousand percent. So this is very good for um, logos. So you can scale in and out. See when it's still very clear, like even a thousand percent. So this looks good. Kind of like it. Um, let's instead of doing the other logo, let's do another job and see if we can do something different. So I went back to Upwork, found this job. So I need a system with a minimalistic logo for a real estate business. So let's try to. Uh, it kind of wants it in royal purple with gold. So we're gonna try to do that. So I'm just going to go make a prompt and let's take it over to mid journey. So I have my prompts here. Let's just go imagine. Copy the first one. So that's going to be like a logo without text. Real estate minimalistic. Not this royal purple with gold retro 90s. So let's try that one first. Uh, okay, that was wrong. This. And let's do the other one. So that's gonna be logo without text. Uh, Real estate minimalistic. Royal purple gold 8k sharp focus. U2. So let me. Let me run a few of these and let's see what kind of results we get here. I think these prompts worked out pretty good. So I found a couple here I would like to use. Uh, I kind of like this one the most. So I'm probably going to use that. We also got this it was quite good. And a few. We got someone without text. So I'm kind of happy for that. Uh, but I'm probably just going to download this. Head over to Conva and get some yeah we need kind of a name for the company and uh, rinse and repeat so i think we got it uh, i couldn't come up with any name so I just call it real estate now it's just going to be the same process let's download this as an image and as an svg and then we are ready to submit so let's just head over to upwork submit one of our uh, designs so i'm gonna submit the one with the real estate company so just go back to the job submit the proposal this is gonna cost two connects uh that's not too bad uh that's standard um terms so it's gonna be hourly rate i don't know why cover letter uh, logo just get our logo here like that and yeah send for two connects your proposal was submitted so i guess that is it 
if we get this job, we kind of get other some brochures, brand identity bundles. Uh, I don't know, but uh, this was just an example. So hopefully we don't get the job. Uh, so that is quite simply how you can just do some easy jobs on Upwork uh, using AI art generators. So that was part two of how you can make money online using uh, AI tools. And in this case, Mid Journey V4. So I hope this inspires you to try different things out. Uh, I don't know if I would copy exactly what I did. Uh, I guess you could if you want to. Anyway, check out some of my other videos here. Uh, if you want more of this, consider subscribing. I never asked for that, so I just thought I'd do it now. Have a great day, and I'll see you maybe in part 3 again soon.